Hi there and welcome to my 30 week pregnancy update. So today I am 30 weeks and 3 days pregnant, which means I have only 9 weeks and 4 days left. So we are in single figures. I know I say this every week but it really does seem to be flying by. I can't believe I've only got that length of time left. We're still completely unprepared but I will tell you more about that in this week's update. So first of all, how far along? I am 30 weeks and three days pregnant. Due date, my due date is the 7th of May, 2017. How baby is doing? Baby is 39.9 centimeters long and weighs 1.319 grams. This week she remains the size of a pumpkin. Baby is now able to see, so even though it is dark inside my uterus she is able to open her eyes and have a look at the environment around her. Baby girl's brain is growing very rapidly this week and as a result there will be very little change in her height and weight this week. Red blood cells are now forming in baby's bone marrow. Baby is shedding the lanugo that has been present on her skin. However the hair on baby's head is actually growing thicker this week. Um, Rosalie was a very bald baby so um, I don't know whether this baby will be the same or not. Probably I can't imagine having a baby with hair. <laughs> Fluid is now present in the alveoli. These are the air sacs inside the lungs and this will help the baby take her first breath at birth. Baby girl may position herself for birth any time from now on. Seems really crazy that she's already getting her head down and ready to come into the world. We're not ready. Stay there. No, don't say that. I would rather have her earlier than late. Come out. <laughs> maternity clothes. I haven't purchased any more maternity items. And I don't think I'll be buying any more now. I might buy a pair of maternity leggings because I seem to be wearing them every day. And I only have about two pairs because I sent one back because they had a hole in. Um, I'm choosing not to wear maternity clothes as a rule just because I feel like they make me look so much bigger and I'm starting to feel rather large. And I still have nine weeks of growing. Stretch marks, no stretch marks yet. Um, I am still applying body butter every night in the hope that I avoid them, but we shall see. I am definitely much bigger than I was with Rosalie at this stage. Best moment this week. Um, nothing really has been happening. Um, we had a cool play date with a friend that was really nice. We start painting the baby's bedrooms this weekend and I will be so glad when that is done. It will just be a massive weight lifted on my mind. It's going to be hideous while we do it. I've actually really suffered this week with back pain and sitting comfortably, like sitting on the bed now is actually hurting my back. Um, so if I'm moving around in strange positions, that's why. So I do think I'm going to struggle and yeah, I think it's going to cause me a lot of pain, but once it's done, I will be so pleased. And I'm really grateful that my mum and stepdad are going to be helping me with that. Miss anything? Um, I would just say being comfortable, like even sitting like this is uncomfortable now. Sitting at my desk, sitting quite far forward is getting quite uncomfortable because I feel like I can't breathe. Um, on a Monday, I work eight hours and they are really a killer. I'm just sat at my desk all day and I do feel really achy after that. Today my day was a bit shorter and tomorrow it will be even shorter. So those aren't so bad but I definitely feel it on a Monday now. Movement, I'm starting to get some really quite large kicks um, and little lumps appearing like I'll be sat and then there'll be, I can feel like a foot or something poking out and then like I felt one this weird lump the other day and I got Nick to feel it and it kicked. <laughs> so it's obviously a foot but uh, yeah all these weird elbows and things I'm feeling like weird strange little lumps appearing on my belly from the outside. Gender, it's a girl. Labour signs, no labour signs yet, which is good. Um, but I didn't have any Braxton Hicks or anything like that first time round, so I don't really expect to get them this time round, but who knows. Symptoms, I am, my back has really started to ache this week. Um, I'm hoping it'll get better, although probably not after this weekend, because we plan on doing some decorating. But um, yeah, I hope it's not gonna be like this for the next nine weeks. I hope it will we'll get over it. I could barely walk this morning when I got out of bed. But obviously, as you do move around, it does get easier. My boobs are getting bigger, although no milk or colostrum has come in yet. Um, 
I do keep checking. <laughs> so far, nothing. It's and any milk. I did have milk that was left over from breastfeeding Rosalie at the start of this pregnancy, but that is all gone. So when I squeeze them, nothing comes out. I'm still feeling really tired. I actually feel tired this week than I think I did last week. I don't know if it's psychological, because obviously I know I'm now anemic, but I just feel really weary. And like from 8 p.m. onwards, it's a real struggle to keep my eyes open. Breathlessness, I you can probably hear it in my voice on this video, but yeah, I'm definitely running out of breath more. Anything making you feel queasy or sick? No, sickness is actually, that's a lie. We had quite a long journey on Tuesday and when I was driving, I do get travel sick, but not if I'm driving, but when I was driving, baby was moving around so much and like kicking in my stomach and making strange movements that I felt really quite nauseous. My belly button is out <laughs> and my wedding rings are still on, although they do still spin, so I think that's okay. They're not stopping the blood circulation. Although I definitely can't get them off. How I am feeling? I'm feeling good. Although I'm tired and I feel like I could close my eyes and sleep for a week. We've had a good week. I'm positive, like, thing we're gonna do the painting this weekend, which will be really good. Be a job ticked off the list and then I can start to organize things and sort out the bedrooms. And I feel a bit all over the place because nothing is sorted, but I think once this weekend's out of the way, although it will be hellish, I'll feel so much better. So yeah, I've just got lots of stuff to do this week. Like I need to clear all the stuff off the walls in Rosalie's bedroom. And then Nick's gonna help me move lots of furniture. He's actually away this weekend in Amsterdam. So that's a bit of a pain. He's not gonna be here to help me move things. So I'm gonna try and do it all on Thursday. Hopefully it works out. Looking forward to getting through this weekend, as I said, starting to organise uh, girls' rooms. And also, in two weeks' time, we have a holiday, a little family baby moon. So I need to start planning what clothes I'm going to wear and what I'm going to pack for that. But I want to get this weekend out of the way first before I even think about that. I think once I'm able to sort out their bedrooms, I will just feel so much more happy about this pregnancy. I'm also going to order baby's changing bag today. I think I'm going to order it tonight. How exciting. And here is my 30 week bump. As you can see, I feel humongous. My belly button is definitely out. <laughs> And you can't actually see any lumps at the moment, but I have been getting strange, weird lumps poking out at me. So that is the end of my 30 week pregnancy update. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about my pregnancy and any new developments that have happened this week. I have recorded every week of my pregnancy, so you can click back those. And don't forget to subscribe and to click the little bell so that you get a notification every time I post a video. I am doing these weekly pregnancy updates every week, so please do subscribe so you don't miss one. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.